Hey girl, hey, welcome to Getting Younger, where you, the Younger fan family, are a part of the show. I'm your host and huge Younger fanatic, Taylor Strecker. Every Tuesday, I'll be coming to you live from Union Square in New York City, giving you the chance to chat with the stars of the show and the stars who love the show. Anything can happen because it's your show, you're in charge. Literally, the show is for the fans, by the fans. So to start, Comment right now your questions for the cast, your feels about season four, your hopes and dreams for season five, and if you named one of your pets after a cast member. It's a little weird, but actually I welcome it. I welcome it all. <laughs> okay, right now we're gonna set you guys up with our first fan poll, so let's get to it right now. So in the season four finale, why do you think Charles is calling Liza? I've been wondering this for about a year. Uh, is it to discuss her future at Millennial? He needs a babysitter uh, to profess his undying love. Please, please, please. Uh, or was it just a butt dial? Cast your vote in the comment section and we'll get to that in about five minutes. By now you're probably wondering, who the heck do I have in studio with me in my gorgeous apartment? Thank you very much. Uh, guys, I like have the whole cast. OMG, you guys welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Happy premiere night. By the way, uh, congrats on season six yes. of Young yes. Girls. You guys, Amazing. that happened last night. I Amazing. Amazing. Yes. Amazing. Yes. Cheers. 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 Okay, so let me introduce you. I'm sure you guys, uh, you might recognize them just a little bit. But, you know, I'm going to do my due diligence. We got Sutton Foster here. Hey. Hey. I know her. <laughs> oh my God, me too. Hey. Debbie Mazar. Hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> We've got Miriam Shore. Uh, uh huh. Nico Tretarella. <laughs> Peter Herman. <laughs> Molly Bernard. Hi. And newbie. Newbie. Mr. Yes. Come on. Newbie. <laughs> newbie. Charles Michael Davis. And also just want to say, Can't Hillary, be. feel better. We miss you tonight. Uh, Love you, Hills. And you're missing the drink, girl. Okay. The cocktail of the night. Okay, so introducing our cocktail of the night, the mind blower, uh, named in honor of the mind blowing moment that we've been promised on tonight's episode of Younger. Sure. It's lemony, it's delicious, it's a game changer. Changing. Okay, yeah. let's take a little sip Cito here. Now we can officially cheers. Okay. What about cheers. these guys in the back? You guys have your... Okay. Oh, you guys got Season your... six. Now that I'm boozed up, let's get down <laughs> to yeah. it. The younger season five premiere is less than 30 minutes away. So let's regroup on how season four ended. Take a look. Oh. I would like you to welcome Miracle's newest executive editor, Zane Anders. You and work don't mix well. What about you and me? I'm at the Four Seasons. Okay, uh, we are done here. Charles' ex-wife wrote a book. It's like a thinly disguised tell-all of their marriage. The real reason she wrote the book was to win Charles back. And she wants me to help her do that. My feelings for you are real. Pack your bags. We're going to Ireland. I need to put a ring between us. Oh! Ah! So will Liza get that call from Charles? Will Josh and Claire's huh. marriage last? Ooh. Will everyone get sucked into a huge peep bog like Maggie almost did? <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's did disgusting. You know that so last time I saw you, Sutton, it was the finale of season four on Getting Younger. Yes. The post-show, now the pre-show. Right. So have your feelings changed about the ending to season four over the course of last year? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess, I mean, it was... Yeah, I don't know if they've changed. I mean, now I've finished season five, so I know how everything I know. <laughs> turns oh, up. We're so trying so, so hard, hard not to get anything. I know, I know nice. the future, so it's so hard. <laughs> <laughs> but it, I mean, I felt like um, it was really intense to like, I think at the end of season four, Liza was very much in love with two people. And even though she was letting Josh go, letting the idea of them being together go, yeah. I think a part of her will always love him. But yet I believe she's starting this next season with um, fully intending to profess her feelings to uh, the tall guy. Uh-huh, uh-huh, the tall guy. <laughs> mm. The tall guy. Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln. <laughs> Wait, and their tall friend. when did you guys huh? find out what that message said from tall guy? <laughs> Uh, I will henceforth. Don't say it. Don't say it. But oh, when did you find it? Like, how long did you guys have to wait? Because everyone's waited like, we, whole we've been waiting time. a year. We waited the whole time. The yeah. Whole time. We yeah. Until we got the first one. Yeah. We, yeah. we never yeah. Yeah. have anything. Wait, I still don't know what the message says. <laughs> And, 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 and at the end of the season, the writers didn't know either. No, right. they, they just wanted they just wanted a phone call. Cliffhanger. 
Yeah. And when we initially did the table read for that last episode, yeah. that phone call was not in the table. Right. That was not they there. Added they added, added it. it afterwards. Mm. They added it because they wanted the promise of, okay. they wanted to remind like the promise of Charles. Like, of something. And I, I emailed Darren, I emailed Darren a picture of, a, of, a, of a, one of those classic red phone booths in a meadow in Ireland. And I said that that's where Charles should be calling from. Yeah. With, with, a, big, with a big stack of coins. Is that, is that what we're going to see at the beginning and of season no. five? <laughs> and no. And no. They still and don't believe in Ireland. No. But they don't, the writers don't tell us anything. Nothing. We know we try. Yeah. That's actually, but there are writers now. It's like we have moles inside the writer <laughs> groups. So we sort of know who yeah. to go to. We know who's sort of a little more loose lip. Well, yeah, so we do. I hear people you. get gifts. Yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hell that's yeah. True? Absolutely. If you're going to make one, this one gives you Shameless. I knew, I knew and, I, and I'm like, I will give, in exchange for information, I will give you this thing. Yeah, it's true. I've been known to take one or two of them out for a sparkling pink wine. Oh. There you go. Oh. Whatever works. You can pay That's me in flip. Chanel bags, just FYI. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Chanel, I do you know what think about Noted. that. Noted. It's more expensive than a glass of wine. I also have to ask, which one of you is the most like your character? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, that's actually I'm not like my character. That's really? Yeah. yeah. Most like yeah. see. Yeah. I'm not uh, not so. Well, who's the least like their character? Yeah. I, I'm you gonna say I'm the least like my character. Yeah, yeah. For sure. uh, just because um, I I can't with the shapewear. Oh, I just, but I think <laughs> you, but you always Wait, say God. that, and I just disagree. You are this bomb ass human in the world, and yeah. it's just. A, and, but but seriously, and and it's Make just it. a different iteration right. of that, whether yeah. as Diana as or as you. Oh. Also, so, Miriam, I mean, you're like always wearing huge necklaces. Totally, <laughs> always. As you can see in my real life, right. just jewelry. Liza. Oh, oh, did you hear that? <laughs> Interesting that we're talking about you right now. So when we hear that, that means we have our poll results in. Oh, so oh, every time we take a poll, every time we take a poll, we're gonna hear oh, God, Diana God. screaming. Hearing things. Liza, okay, wow. so, uh, so it's called the payoff poll. So it's our first poll. So the question was, what the hell was Charles uh, calling oh. Liza about at the end of season four? Uh, let's see what you guys voted for. Okay, the majority say that he's calling to profess his love. Oh. I can't see. I can't see because I'm blind. What's the uh, what's the percentage? Love. I'm also 88% love. Guys, 88% love is the name of my autobiography. Thank you. To, thank you to 88% of you. This was not tampered by the Russians. <laughs> exactly. This, this so do we certified. think that they're? Um, it's called Julian Assange. Are they spot on? Are they close? Don't give it away. Just give them a. They're about 88% correct. <laughs> You're so smart. <laughs> You're so smart. <laughs> It's time for our second poll. Okay, We're just all right. the whole time. All I'm right. just here. You Ooh, scream lies. I, 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 <laughs> okay, so second poll, Zane and Kelsey have a tumultuous relationship. When it comes to Zane, should Kelsey trust and thrust? Whoa. Oh, wow. Yeah. Said that. Or, wow. Uh, or doubt and get out. You guys She's vote now, poet, and uh, we'll get back to your answers in about five more Can minutes. Can she doubt and thrust? We already know the answer to that question. Doubt and thrust is good. I, would, I mean, <laughs> doubting and thrusting is called my <laughs> Doubt and thrust. Well, doubt doubt and trust. <laughs> oh, people are going nuts about this one. Oh. Okay, oh, guys. Right. So now it's time to get into your fan questions. Keep the fan right. questions yeah. coming. They're really, really great. And I mean, when do you get to ask this amazing cast what do you want to know? of phenomenal characters anything My you want? My social security want. number. Okay, yes. so here no, we no, go. No, no, no. Won't necessarily okay. answer, but I'm going to the monitor. I need, <laughs> I'm, I'm a little bit blind. No, it's all My right. dad didn't give me LASIK yet. He only gave it to my mom. So oh, how well I do. Okay. So first question from the fans, and you guys, thank you, keep sending them in. Uh, can anyone read that? Yeah, I yeah. yeah. Yes. That is so uh -oh. Okay, so Chloe W, my question is for Sutton. If you were to pick <gasps> a favorite episode of season five, what would it be? Love, Love you. you. Love you. Uh, uh, episode seven. Yes. Yay. Really? <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm like, my favorite too. <laughs> trying to scan and figure that one out. Yeah. Good. It's sort of Give us a, a, a hint without a hint. You know what I'm saying. Seven minutes um, in heaven. <laughs> Wow, someone's Only rhyming. Seven minutes? Minutes? Yeah. Um, it's uh, it's it's a Christmas episode. <gasps> I can say that it's the first time that younger. We've had Christmas on the yeah. show, yeah. so it was actually kind of yeah. cool because we filmed it in April. It's going to be Christmas <laughs> in July when it airs. Yeah, yeah. it'll be awesome. But the, they they decked oh, out the, the offices all in um, lights and, and their and, apartment and the apartment. Yeah, we had a tree. Apartment. You had a tree. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. Snow yep. on the street. The decorations. Snow. Everyone was wearing Christmas. All the everyone in the office was wearing Christmas sweaters. It you was, had a cute yeah. outfit on. 
Yeah, I, I did. I did. She I had Christmas says, lights yeah. on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, wore, I wore a Christmas light necklace. It, it was. It's just a really. It's a wonder. You have a nice moment. It's the magic of Christmas. And, and, and it was funny because when we were shooting it, just because there were the visual cues of Christmas, we all got sentimental. And we were all it's really like, oh, happy. Like, a Christmas tree, so we all just we all got all sad. Because I actually got a Christmas tree after I watched that episode. There you go. Yeah, and I gave myself Chanel bags. Uh. And, and, I, and I think that and I think that it actually gave that because it's Christmas, so it actually gave all of these characters sort of license in a way to to uh, let each their other hearts. know how yeah. they actually. Feel. Yeah. Oh, the uh, you're treading too close to something right now. I'm gonna back it up. I'm okay. treading too close. That's just the nature. That's just. The, I'm not saying everybody. No, you're I'm right. You're right. You're right. Christmas. You're right. I'm just paranoid. I'm not saying everybody. <laughs> okay, let's get to our second question from the fans. Margaret C. Will anyone else from Liza's old life find out this season? Mm. Girl, the premiere is in what? 15 minutes now. I know. She's but Liza's wait. old life. Yeah, I know. Oh, Liza's, oh, Liza's yeah. old life. Oh, old life. Oh, uh, uh, <coughs> yes. I can say yes. yes. Yeah. 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 Not old yes. people in her life. But no, yes. but life prior, prior to. Yes. Prior to. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Why? Old people life. in her life. <laughs> I, yes, and me. I think my drink was strong because wait, I know, I'm, I'm I like, I'm like, wait, I'm there lost. are so many different ways. Okay, we can look at it like Liza's life before she became a that's liar. That's what Margaret means. Or we can look at Liza's life. That's called that's called former who are life. Old. <laughs> old. Yes, <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you for that. Very super supportive cast. I love working on this. Ages. We love you, old guy. Okay, nice. it's time for another question from the fans. Let's see what we got. Liz L, will we be meeting any new characters this season? Of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah a, a, a handful. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, right. a, lot, a lot that affect the plot. Yeah. Yeah. A lot that affect the plot. Like, That's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and then, but then also some returns, some, returns. some old faces. Mm -hmm. yeah, we, we have, have returns. We have new faces and old faces. Yeah. Yeah. We have our first gender queer character this yeah. season. Yeah. Yes, yes. I have yeah. exciting. Yeah. Very exciting. Mm -hmm. Lots of good characters yes. this yes. season. Yeah, okay. lots of surprises. And do we have time for one more? Okay, we have time for one more question from the fans. Uh, Kayla B, what made you all want to be part of this show? Darren Star. Darren Star. Yeah. Star. Yeah. Sutton Foster. Hillary Duff. New York City. <laughs> Sutton Darren Foster. Star, Sutton Foster, Sutton New York City. Yeah. And Sutton Debbie Mazur. Foster, Thank Debbie Mazur. And Miriam Shore. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, but did Charles? you know I was cast for you? <laughs> I did. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was cast for you. Oh, wow. Really? Oh, oh, and it's, it's actually nice. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I turned, nice. out, I turned down nice. that audition because of your pubic hair. I was like, she's my idol. I will not be auditioning for the show. I don't want to talk about Sutton Foster's pubic hair. And my agent was like, go, because I think Darren will like you. And I was like, oh. but I'm just talking about my idol's mm. pubic hair. And look where that, we are. And and now look at where we are. are. Oh. Oh. All yeah. these yeah. yeah. disgust over Liza. 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 Yes, exactly. Why not? Liza. Oh, 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 there we go. Did you hear that? Liza. Liza. I just feel like Miriam is just shouting out. Liza. Liza. <laughs> that means it's time for our, 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 our poll. Let's find out what you guys thought of uh, the trusting and thrusting, uh -oh. okay? Again, thrusting Versus the, doubt. the doubt, doubt or get out of, oh. uh, of Zane oh, and Kelsey. Doubt. Ooh, oh, wow. 71% say doubt. Gotta love a fan's wow. poll. Yeah, wow. Charles. Okay. Yeah. Charles, you're on the spot. Yeah. How do you feel about I that? I don't mind it. I don't. I don't mind uh, coming and mixing things up and a little doubt in the nice. audience. Is Zane a bad boy? Is that is that why we're getting this response from the audience? Is he a bad boy? I don't think so. Define bad boy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We see. We see. Great a, question. We see. A, <laughs> we see different sides of Zane this season. Yeah. 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 It's true. I think it's great. We see like a. a, a the, the underbelly of <laughs> and the, and the overbelly. See, no, you see my belly. <laughs> see, yeah. Yeah. Belly yeah. Well. see under that belly. Yeah. Well, we, we see we see a softer side of him, which I think is, you know, will make for more trusting and yes, and, yeah. and and might affect that poll. Yes. Right. Yeah. I just so want you guys to know that Nico said doubt and mouth. <laughs> doubt and mouth. Gotta love so a doubt. So that was a third mind. option. It just wasn't enough. <laughs> <involved. laughs> It's the kind of thing you listen to and let go. When in doubt, put it in your mouth. Okay. It's time for our game. Are you guys ready for a game? Oh, no. Okay. No, no. You guys know what the game is. You guys don't know what the game is. So it's called Spill the Truth. Liza does a handful of lying on the show. Am I crazy saying that? No. No, no. But guess what? Her character's not the only one. You guys all tell your lies here and there. Humans lie, right? 
I've never lied. She's a human. That's well, a that's a lie. That's true. That's a lie. Is that your lie? Okay, so we actually had you guys write down for us the yeah. biggest whoppers, mm. the biggest lies you've ever told. And I have them yeah. in my yeah. favorite oh wine glass. Oh, my God. Wow. wow. That's that's not, I drink all my wine out of here. That's exactly. not a lie. This is the truth right here. Okay, so I'm going to pull them out. Okay. And I am going to, oh, my gosh, I'm terrified of this. I'm going to pull it out. Oh. Yep, you heard me. I'm gonna pull it out, and I'm gonna read the lies. It's now, if it's your lie, please don't say anything. Just like act your way through. Pretend like you're like, right. whose lie could this be? Right. Okay. Um, and the rest of you guys have to guess whose lie it actually is. Okay? okay. Are we ready for this? It was Hillary. Biggest <laughs> lie I ever Hillary. told was. I was the most experienced dental assistant. Oh, we <laughs> Whose all lie is this? We know, we know this. this. We know the this obvious. one right here. I'm sorry. Wait, do I have to come up with? She answered an answer. She answered. That's the biggest no, whopper the you've story. ever told. That's my okay. favorite. So the story yeah, so is, is that I needed a job. I looked in the New York Times. It was the, you know, the, the employee section. And I, I found dental assistant, Madison Avenue, pays really well. So I went, I went for the meeting, um, and I lied through my teeth. I called somebody first. Pun no intended. pun intended. <laughs> Are you right? And, uh, and so I got hired, he liked me, and I went out and I got like my nurse outfit and I chopped it up to my crotch, and <laughs> I wore white fishnets and I think lime green heels. It was the 80s. <laughs> I looked really cute on my first day, and then, uh, the first moment he has a, an extraction, like eight o'clock, and he's like yanking out a tooth. He goes, pass me the blah, blah, blah. And I, went, I froze. And um, I didn't know what instrument to pass him. So I went, uh, the picker? No. And he, he went, looked over his glasses at me like, uh, <laughs> and he, he waited until the patient left, and then he knew that I hadn't been a dental assistant. Mm. And he decided to train me <gasps> for a month. Huh. But then um, I, I, I stole a hemostat. It's a, <laughs> it's a scissor that clicks closed oh my God. To, for, for joints, for my roaches. Oh my God, Debbie. And, for your roaches. And I, you know, not cockroaches. For your for joints. Some weeds. No, yeah. 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 And I just wanted to for the audience. And, um, <laughs> and, I, and, and I, I, I told him I, that I took it. I didn't really steal it. And he said, you, you know what? It. You're not supposed to take my instruments, and you're too fabulous to be a dental assistant. I will be your dentist. He's still my dentist. Shut up. No way. Uh, yes, and um, and that's the end of the story. Oh, yeah. Can we get a round of applause for that? What a lie. What a oh, lie. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I tell you, it's the greatest. Like, I want to be a dental assistant uh, for the outfit. Yeah, you did it for the outfit. Sorry, you guys. That's I didn't mean to tell my story. No, are you it's the best story ever. I love that. I love that. Great great story. Story. OK. You can't top that. That's a good one. OK. Well, the rest of Well, this one's a longie, so here we go. I'm going to The biggest lie I ever told was I was late for a flight, so I cried. And I said I'd been in a car accident on the way to the airport. They asked if I needed an ambulance. I said, no, just get me on that plane. Lies, exclamation point. Uh, oh uh, my god, OK. I say Molly. Molly? Molly. Yeah, no. Say... no. No. No? OK. Are you Stop. lying now? No. Miriam? <laughs> Miriam? Miriam. Miriam? 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 No way. Miriam. Miriam. Yeah. OK. <laughs> It was me. Yeah, wow. I was. La I was. <laughs> I was going to New York. <laughs> I maybe took a little too long packing, and I was late. And so when they were like, "Ma'am, it's too late for you to check in," I was like, <laughs> And they were like, "Oh my God, do you need an ambulance?" I was like, "No, just get me on the plane." And this was before. This yes. was in the '90s. So. Uh, they rushed me to the plane. They took the screws out of the door. No way. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no way. Opened the door, oh. and I went running in, and I was like, I'm here. And everyone was like, <laughs> record scratch. And I was like, I Good see. acting. <laughs> yes. And yes. then I sat on the plane, and then we sat on the tarmac for five hours. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's karma. Yeah. Of course. Oh, karma. Exactly. 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 Like, oh, uh, good lie, will you? That is but, yeah. so good. You guys, so, these are you guys are good liars. Mm. And here, we're Sutton's actors. getting all the key oh, lies. Oh, I'm not a good liar. <laughs> okay, the biggest lie I ever told was I told my preschool teacher oh, oh, no. that I had a rock that was really a piece of the moon, and I had two birthdays a year. I think I can guess that's the one. That's I wish that was mine. I was going to say Molly. I was going to say Molly. No, oh, I said it's, it's you. It is. Oh, oh, so awesome. Oh, my God. God. I don't that's know. so I just lovely. Need to yeah. 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 I'm yeah. so impressed. I'm yeah. twice as old I, as everyone. I, did I genuinely thought I had two birthdays a year, though. Aww. It didn't occur well, to me that you. How did you separate your birthdays out? Was it like a six-month or thing? I don't know. I just 
felt like I, I was like, I swear, when I counted it up, we celebrated. I had two birthday parties that year. <laughs> That's so good. I didn't realize that that was absolutely impossible. Aww. <laughs> well, the last time you lied, you were a tiny person, and I was yeah. an adult. <laughs> <laughs> Remove Dirty clean parts wow. for you. Yes, okay. Well, that's our game. What? Yes, what? I know. No, guys, do more, we do got more. the premiere to get to. Read them real quick. Mine's not very good, so that's great. I feel relieved. Okay, <laughs> I have to ask you a question. Okay with because I'm not in control. Then. God is in my ear. And her oh, okay. name is Chelsea. Okay. Wow. okay, so let's go to another <laughs> fan question. You guys are submitting Chelsea. amazing questions, so keep them coming. Danielle, Danielle D, Molly Bernard, you rock. I love the strong woman you portray, as well as the vulnerability she has displayed. What do you hope is next for her? Mm. Oh, wow. LD, yeah. so nice. Um, <laughs> uh, oh my gosh, you know what? I really hope, this is so silly, <laughs> but I hope we see Lauren like behind a desk. I want to oh. see her with like mm. a pen. You want pens? <laughs> I want you want a, a pen. You want a pen. I want a highlighter and pens <laughs> and paper. And, and I want to see her doing stuff and maybe like a stapler. <laughs> um, and just being like, Oh, I want Lauren to have, okay, so Lauren does have an assistant this season. Yep. Yes. Great. It's really fun, but Fantastic. I, I want to see, I, want, I really want to see her being like, assistant, coffee. Because you want to be, I, yeah, I want to be. Mini Diana. 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 <laughs> right, yes. oh, we all so do. Good. Yes. <laughs> okay, it's time for our next question. From the audience, Debbie W. Which scene has been the hardest to film thus far? Oh. Fair game, who wants to answer it? Oh, the yogurt. Room. Sex. <laughs> Is that ours? Wait, that was the same. Okay, that so Nico, okay. the yogurt. Thus far. Oh, thus far. Thus far. Oh, so putting your junk into just, yogurt. It was just messy. It was? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it can't be neat. Yeah. You could elaborate. <laughs> We're just gonna move on to the next. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll say the hardest yes. scene for me to, Peter? was was the, the scene with Hillary last season where I where I where I um, came, went to pieces. Um, yes. it, so that was just, I mean, the, the scene itself wasn't wasn't difficult, but actually I went and wept. Um, and I, I walked. I, I went sort of inch towards a nervous breakdown because I was laughing so hard. Oh, so God. I in production for an hour. The long oh, oh, my wow. God. Which, is, which gets incredibly funny. Was yeah. that like in the, a the conference? Worst, the no. More, no, no, no. It was we could have stopped laughing. Oh, Bigger party. Bigger yeah, party. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the more we stressful it gets, the funnier it gets. Yes. That was How long did that laughter last? It was an hour. It was an hour. It was an hour. It was an hour. So long, that's it was long amazing. Long it was fantastic. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, like, that's epic yeah. church laughing. Yeah, I right couldn't there. get it together yeah. for an hour. We've all been there. We just wow. kept, and it was. It was great. It was great. Okay, great. one more question from the audience. Karen B. Peter, what are you looking forward to in season five? Hmm. Oh, I know. Hmm. Um, I think that. Um, bow, that bow, the, bow. The, uh, <laughs> I think that that I, I have endless admiration for our writers, yes. um, and and the um, and the complications that they throw at us and that we are then uh, made to find our way through um, are just uh, endlessly delectable. Um, what? That That's so delectable. big. What are we um, talking about? And that, is, and that is what I'm looking forward to, um, to, to, uh, to share with our fantastic fans how I and all of us work our way uh, through the fantastic complications that we were handed. Also, he wants to make out with Liza. <laughs> and that. that was so. so and then they may or may yeah. not happen. Yeah, exactly. I have absolutely no idea. My know. translator. Not whatsoever. <laughs> sure. Exactly. So the premiere of Younger Season 5 is <gasps> early moments away, and I bet you want a sneak peek, right? Well, this is what happens next. I'm going to play a clip from tonight's episode. I'm going to freeze it. And uh, before it ends, then you guys have to vote on what you think will actually happen. So roll it. Oi. I have a surprise for you in my office. Can I have a hint? I don't think I could take another one today. Uh. Freeze! Okay, see? It's like the power of God. Yeah. Okay. Uh, here is our final poll, so make sure to participate. What happens next? Uh, okay, do you think or hope is going on in Kelsey's office? A bouquet of flowers for Liza from a cigarette admirer. A shirtless Josh. Woo! I vote for that. Uh, <laughs> a box of books. Or Pearl, the best-selling advice-giving dog. Okay, so vote now. Final poll, so make sure to cast your votes. Dog. And while they're casting their votes, dog. I want to talk to you guys about uh, season five, okay? Mm. Can we give the teasers that they want to hear without absolutely spoiling it? I'm sure I can't. Oh, my God. <laughs> I There's feel like season five, you say it great. It's like the first four seasons, we were climbing up the roller coaster. You know, yeah. the little dig, 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 dig. Yeah. And now season five, we're like, yeah. 
we go. Yeah. There's moments that happen in season five that I feel like we've been anticipating for mm. a long time. But it's not easy. You know, it's it's in true younger fashion. It's yeah. and a lot it, of just when you think you know where it's going, it surprises you. Mm. Also, I love the pop culture references. They're yeah. just so friggin' spawn on. It's like the episodes were written the morning of them airing. Wow. That's Great because of our writers. You know, yeah. they're they're really um they're really listening to the, I mean, our world is ever changing. So uh, a lot has lot, lot changed between season four and season five. So yeah. they yeah. really, they're they, smart. They're very smart. Yeah. And actually, I mean, of course I watch the show cause I love it. It makes me laugh, but it makes me think about situations that I've been thinking about for about a year in a totally different way. Yeah. If you know what I mean. Yeah. You guys are going to find out Rina. pretty soon. Liza. Uh-oh. Wow. It really is jarring, real? guys. I didn't realize. <laughs> it freaks me out. It makes me, I'm running for coffee. <laughs> Let's see uh, what you guys think is in Kelsey's office. Okay. Wow. The majority of you guys think it is uh, the dog, Pearl. Wow. Really? Oh my God. Oh, really? Wow. Really? Close one. How did they what know? percentage is that? 30% 30. think it is Pearl, the wisest dog in all That's the land. That's how you know you can always um, trust what a poll. What do we think about that? You can always trust a poll. I think we've learned that. <laughs> oh my <laughs> last God. Last election. Well, good night. Oh, well. <laughs> How's you your might poll? be right, huh? you might be wrong, but we're no about complaints. to find out Enjoy because the, <laughs> the season premiere of Younger is upon us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you to my amazing guests. You guys are so awesome. I love you to bits and pieces. Thank you. You guys are the best. Also, you guys, thank you to Rent the Runway for my fabulous outfit. Oh, yeah. 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 Look at this. Yeah. 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 And also, of course, thank you so much to the fans. I mean, without you, we wouldn't have a show. So That's we sure. love you to bits and pieces. We'll see you the same time next mm -hmm. week when our guests will be Jennifer Westfeld, a.k.a. Mm -hmm. Pauline, yeah, and yeah, yeah. author of the Real Life Marriage Vacation Book. Joe wow. Yaza. Oh, how cool. Oh, cool. cool. And if you're hungry for more Younger, uh, guess what? Check out the podcast, Younger Uncovered. Myself, Peter, recapping mm. episode one of season five. Come on, Transmedia. Um, <laughs> and we're also going to be leaving you guys with some bloopers from Younger yeah. season five. And mm. I'll oh, see yeah. you next week. I'm so Mwah. excited about this. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay. Now you're just blocking the camera. <laughs> but I'm... What the fuck? I put my weight on my right leg. No. That's my line. <laughs> I don't believe it. I was like, it. I, no pictures? No. Oh, sorry. Okay. This, this, I'm, I'm sorry, I totally blew it. It's all right. It's... I have 900 people scared. Like... Yeah, you're like a piece of bacon. Crown of Kings pre pre prequel. <laughs> I think we're all a little behind on that one. My bad. Kings. <laughs> don't, don't get started. <laughs> no. No. And we're off. No. The crown of Kings. Crown of Kings. Okay, crown should we start, can we start over? Because I, I had a little fun too. My name's Bob Katz. I'm the senior legal counsel here at Imperial Court. Hey, Bob. <laughs> Flicking your tongue out repeatedly when the other person is obviously turned off. <laughs> what did he say? What did he say? What did he say? What did you say? We missed it. What was funny? Just very bad diarrhea. Sorry. <laughs> oh, damn it. I'm it was sorry. a really good diarrhea. I'm sorry. My favorite diarrhea of all time. No, don't say that. A really bad diarrhea. It's a three month buy, and Charles loves it because he can see it from his office. You should always lie. Uh, we're shooting an insurance commercial. Well, Nadine from Tallahassee, that if she really wanted to strip, <laughs> what? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Don't laugh at me. Why are you laughing at me? Because Nadine from Tallahassee is funny when you say it. I didn't write it. Get the f out of here. <laughs> Dear God, good God. Dear God. Dear God. Oh, God. That was funny. <laughs> that was really funny. Subscribe to Younger Uncovered. The podcast dedicated to all things younger.